Hi, I'm Jean Marie Jobs. I'm a global trainer and a coach. My passion is really to look for breakdowns so that we can infuse hope into situations that look impossible or places where people have resigned or decided, hey, there's no possibility here. I love to mine for possibility. I've had this happen recently where I'm working with someone and we're managing a project and we think everything in my mind is going the way I think it needs to go, the way we've agreed. Then all of a sudden I find out through a whole nother source information like, hey, this person rubs everyone else the wrong way in the organization. Like they're doing their job, they're getting things done, but they're creating this emotional wake that is disturbing the synergy in the team. Now I'm not on site, so I don't know. And so I think because the project is moving along, everything's moving along. But what's really happening is our reputation might be undermined in the community. The other people on the team are frustrated. They don't enjoy it. And they're losing trust because they don't understand why I don't see the thing that they see. And I was feeling very annoyed, frustrated, angry, betrayed in that moment of why wouldn't you tell me this piece of information? Am I the kind of person people don't talk to? Am I the kind of person that no one shares with? Like what is up with not getting this data when I needed it two months earlier? I don't know how many of you have been in that situation where there was very differing expectations around communication. Full disclosure, partial disclosure, give the person what you think they can handle. All different expectations based on what? Based on our assumptions around what's possible, what's not possible, who we are, who other people are. And a lot of those assumptions that we live into and live from create our expectations. So I started thinking about expectations versus agreements and how often in life we think we're in agreement with someone because we've decided how things should go, but really we're just living out of an expectation. We haven't specifically articulated, hey, this is our agreement, or hey, would you agree to this? We haven't made a request because it doesn't occur to us that the request needs to be made. Now this dynamic between expectations and agreements plays out in every area of life. For some people, if you say let's meet for coffee at three, their expectation is any time between three and, you know, 3.15, 3.20 is fine. It's the same. For other people, when you say let's meet for coffee at three, you better be there by 2.55 because five minutes early is almost late. Different expectations based on historical experiences, the way people learn, the way they were groomed into whatever role they have or the family they lived in. And oftentimes, we don't know that those expectations are in play until there's a breakdown, until there's a breach, until there's something that says, hey, it didn't work. My expectation didn't get met. Your expectation didn't get met. So let's put a pin in it, pause, roll it back, and what are some agreements we can put in place for next time? What does it look like to ask specifically for the things that you want and expect and negotiate them in your business relationships or on your team? Does your team know that you have very specific expectations about their participation? about the way they relate to time, about how they communicate in advance or not, if a project deadline isn't gonna be met. What have you set out and invited people to agree to versus what have you just expected and then found yourself tolerating or frustrated about because it hasn't turned out the way you thought it should? You'll notice that you're in assumptions and expectations when you hear the word should. You hear it in your own head or maybe you say it out loud. I have a whole video on not shooting on yourself. Check it out. If this was helpful for you, check out Novus Global's Beyond High Performance podcast. We have a whole episode on agreements versus expectations. It's in the description below. I love getting requests, so if you have a topic or a sticky point or a frustration or a toleration that you're experiencing, please make a comment. I would love to address that. And don't forget to like and subscribe.